What is up everybody? I'm Foxy for real, but if you already knew that, then you know who I am. And if not, if you are new here and this is the first video that you are watching of Foxy for real, this is for you. This is for everybody that has ever wondered about my name, about my childhood toys, about stuff, anything about me. Um, this isn't going to be my favorite toy. What's my favorite legend? What's my favorite, you know, who's my favorite superhero? Who's my favorite DC character? This is going to be all about me. Now before we get started on this origin story, I just want to give a special shout out to now this guy here, Anthony, um, he's in the syndicate and he actually gave this idea to everybody. He tagged a lot of people in this post and I haven't saw anybody run with it yet. So I wanted to be one of the first people to actually put this out there and tell you guys who I am. I've wrote down a little list of everything that I need to talk about, hitting points that I feel like are missed in a lot of videos. First of all, a little bit about me. I am a YouTuber who loves toy hunting. Uh, anything from Pops, Marvel Legends, I'm starting to get into hot toys, really wanting to pick up my first one. Uh, Black Series, as you can see, I have a collection. I have NECA Predators down here, Funko Pops here, and all the way up there, Marvel Legends and Black Series that you cannot see. Not only am I a toy hunter, but I also enjoy vlogging. If you don't know by now, my fiance Brooklyn and I are getting married next year. And I have been vlogging everything that we've done up until the point that is like the important parts of our wedding, like planning it, um, going and finding spots and stuff like that. And everybody has been with me through the ride and I appreciate everybody tuning in for those vlogs. I know everybody's here for toys and all, but I do appreciate you guys actually clicking on those vlogs and letting me know you like those too. So before we get into the toys, I wanted to give you a history of Foxy For Real because that is pretty much where everybody asks me questions, like whether regarding my name. I get so many questions about my name um, and it's really just a funny story, and it, it's, I, yeah, I just have to tell you, just, just sit back, in a few minutes, I will let you know everything you need to know about my name. Alright guys, a lot of people didn't know this, but before I got into toy hunting, I was actually a gamer. It's just something I loved. I used to play video games all the time. Uh, here and lately though, I don't really have the time to because I do work a full-time job. I am a sales supervisor at a Kohl's department store, and I do do YouTube. Um... Those two right there take up a lot of my time, but I do have free time, and the free time that I do ha use, I use wisely. You know, it's spending with Brooklyn, spending time with friends and stuff like that. Um, starting new business ventures, and I'm hoping that those actually come about really well in the near future. But with gaming, <laughs> I used to, my friends, Ready for Work, Archaic TV, Toothless Grins, we all used to play GTA 5 and Battlefront 2 religiously, and we would all play together. And I was like, you know what, I'm watching H2O Delirious. I'm watching um, Vanoss Gaming and all these other people, and I'm like, maybe I could try that. So I bought an Elgato, and I decided to roll with it. It failed. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, guys. My gaming videos, I loved them. People loved them. Um, but it just, there's so many people out there doing it. So many, like, people flooding that kind of stuff that you can't really ever get your foot in the door unless you make it a break. Um, toy hunting, there's still, there's a lot of channels in toy hunting, but there's still, everybody has something different about them. You watch some gaming videos and you kind of see the same content over and over. Not just the same content, but the same personality. A lot of people are trying to be like other people on that. And I just didn't feel like it was for me. I completely quit doing it. I was at 43 subscribers when I quit. And I was at 43 subscribers until I started toy hunting eight months later. I put out a few videos here and there, nothing, and then I found this the toy hunting community. Now I'm going to show up with a few clips of my old gaming videos that most people for, don't even know that are on my channel. They're way back in my uploads. So here's a few of those. This stunt is called the flying golf. No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Says what? I got in the shower and this meter pops up or like this. I don't know. It says singing. Huh. <laughs> oh, you mean singing? No, it says sing, sing. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, it says singing. <laughs> what? Let's do it. Come on, let's go, Cody. Cody. Oh, Cody. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What? Ah! Talking that shit, huh? <laughs> you talking that shit? Yeah. 
Wreck him, wreck him. He went Armor's in the back, get some. Hell yeah. Wish you could double up. Did you get some? No, Zeus over here. Hey, he's not that way. Hey, he's not that way. Oh my god. I wouldn't even say bye. <laughs> yep. I play with totally no! different people. Whoa! No! It's on fire! Oh, the boat's on fire! fire. No, oh, it isn't. No. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Alright, and then I started toy hunting. While I was gaming, I watched, you know, people, I don't know if you ever, ever heard of him, but uh, not your average techie, I believe that's his name. It might be something different. I did watch a lot of P2 Vision. P2 Vision was, I mean, that was one of the first toy hunters I've ever watched. I mean, that's probably like, the same for a lot of us. Uh, Sensi Nerd was a huge inspiration for me, and it's crazy now that I'm actually meeting him in person. We're really good friends, and we created the syndicate together with you know 11 other guys a lot of my early videos were terrible i was using a samsung s6 awful for a camera uh, i was also using a canon um elf 135 that shot in only 720p and they're very shaky i did not have any i didn't have any chill when it came to filming like i was like all around and i feel like i've grown a lot i still just find myself doing those rookie mistakes even though i have over a thousand subscribers i will still do rookie mistakes if i had a million subscribers i will still do those rookie mis rookie mistakes guaranteed but yeah my early videos go check them out we did stuff like hastings i don't know if y'all ever heard of hastings but it was a huge store kind of like fye but about twice the size. They had everything from DC icons, Marvel Legends, and I really wish I was into that kind of stuff whenever, whenever we were hunting. Back in the day, I was strictly a pop hunter. I only filmed Marvel Legends because people wanted me to, and now they're taking up most of my collection. That is how this game works. You think you're not going to collect something, but you're going to. My name, here we go, everybody who has ever asked me, this is the video that you should refer to. If you're commenting on a later video down the road and you're like, hey, what's your name mean? I'm going to refer you to this video. Foxy For Real started whenever we were in Grand Theft Auto. We were playing some Grand Theft Auto v uh, online. It was me, Joey, and Jesus. Now, whenever you defeat, whenever you do all the missions for the, uh, the heist, when those finally came out, everybody was waiting for those heists. When those finally came out, we decided to do them. We did them all. We earned, we earned a ton of money. You get a bonus once you complete all of them in order. And we earned a ton of money. So where are you going to go to spend that money first? The strip club. Duh. So seriously, we went to the strip club and we were all wearing masks from one of the mission. And we decided to use the animals in that mission. Everybody was different. I was a fox. Just a random fox. I wasn't even foxy for real at the time. We were just playing. Um... And I had the trench coat on and everything. And then they all took their masks off. And I totally forgot to. And you know when you go into the strip club. You can um, shoot in there. Or attack somebody. Shoot inside. And everybody will come out. You know the cops will be on you. But you're still inside. And you can do anything you want to. You can go behind the curtain. Stuff like that. So I go behind the curtain. Everybody else is dealing with the cops. And then I announce to them that everybody welcome me to the stage. I step out of the curtain, and my friend Jacob yells, Yeah! Foxy! And then, Jesus, Joey, and Jacob, at the same time, yell out, Foxy for real! A star was born. I don't call my- I'm not, I'm not a star by any means, but that is how Foxy for real was made. It was inside of a Grand Theft Auto strip club. I was wearing a fox mask, and I was dancing on stage using the emotes. And somebody yells out, Foxy for real. But it wasn't faux at the time. F-A-U-X. That is how you pronounce it. Faux. Say it with me because everybody gets it messed up. Faux. That means fake or not real. So whenever you put it to Foxy faux real, you get a contradiction. So, I mean, the genius in my name, Foxy fake real, Foxy real fake, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not a fake person. Just saying, but it's just like I wanted to take a simple for real name and twist it and make a contradiction out of it. So Foxy for real. Uh, I do have a lot of ventures that I'm going to be starting. I want to make T-shirts of Foxy for real. And, but that is my name. I hope it didn't disappoint anybody because a lot of people ask about my name, and I just think it's a really funny story that it actually got started in a strip club on Grand Theft Auto Five. So with that being said, who is Foxy for real? Who am I? I, uh, I was born in Monroe, Michigan. I moved down to Tennessee with my family. Um, dude, I'm just, 
I'm Foxy for real. I'm, I'm, I mean, you know me from the syndicate. It's hard to I don't want to like come in here and be like, yo, I like long, walk, uh, long walks on the beach. I like well, candlelight dinners. No, that's not, I mean, that's not what I mean. I love Star Wars. I love Marvel. I love The Walking Dead. I love stuff like that. I love doing YouTube. This is my passion and I appreciate every single one of you subscribing. So my childhood toys, favorite toys when I was a kid. Um, I had some old Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire Marvel uh, Marvel figures, which those were awesome. Um, I collected a lot of uh, Spider-Man toys. I collected a lot, a ton of wrestlers. I was a huge wrestling fan when I was a kid, and that's all a part to my brother Scott. Scott used to watch it every Monday night, and I would watch it with him. We would get all, we'd get the, uh, we'd get every WrestleMania pay-per-view, and I would always watch it. I was a huge fan. I collected so many. I had like a big garbage bag full of these wrestler figures. I was just a kid. I opened every single one of them. I didn't know what the rarity was. I didn't care. It was just playing with my toys and it was the best thing that I've ever, I mean, it was the best thing as a kid that I could be doing. Also, when I was a kid, I had a few of the Toy Biz Marvel Legends. I had um, Colossus. That's the one I remember off the top of my head and I've never saw it ever since. So if I ever see it at a con, I probably will hunt that down. Um, but I collected so like as a kid I had like Toy Story toys and it's really funny that I say Toy Story toys because that is one of the ones that since I'm an adult collector I'm doing YouTube and I'm hunting these toys down um, I decided that I'm gonna purchase this uh, I we we were looking for Woody we were looking for Buzz because those are the two that I had and short story I was forced to throw those away as a child and my mom was pissed and I wanted to make it up for her because I felt, you know, bad about it. All these years, I wanted to make it up. And we're still looking for Woody, but I did go to a bargain hunt with Joey in uh, Brooklyn, and I found Buzz. Now, this made my mom really happy to see it. She even put it in a display, a display cabinet. So I'm really glad I could actually get this back. And it's funny, after all these years, it is still you working. You are one of my favorite life forms. Really? Space Ranger never lies. Well, I appreciate that. Okay, so now back. Let's backtrack a little bit. Got rid of my collection of toys when I was a kid. Really regret that because I had a lot of cool stuff when it came to wrestling and stuff like that. Um, through high school, I didn't collect. You know, after high school, you don't have that stress of people worrying about. Like, you don't have to worry about what people think of you. Um, so I just started doing my own thing, and I got into collecting pops. My first pop was actually. Edward, um, but I've gotten rid of that since then. But I did buy two pops at the same time, and one of those pops came in a week later, and it was Batman from The Dark Knight Rises. Now, I still have this pop, as you can see, and it's awesome. I would love to have Bane in my collection and maybe finish this whole line out, but this is a really awesome Batman, and I'm really glad to have it. So after high school, I started doing my own thing. I started getting into pops. Um, then I started watching people like finding these pops. You know, people like Cincy Nerd, people like P2. Uh, comic trips, uh, D-Bag Robot Gang, you know, some of my fewest inspirations. They started, like, I started watching these people find these on YouTube, and I'd already started getting into the gaming. Decided I didn't want to do gaming, and for eight months I was watching people find pops, and I decided I want to do this too. I want to see if people would watch me, like I watched them, find this stuff. So I started my own hunt, and I went to Hastings for the first time, like I said, and it was, it was awesome. I got the most views I've ever got ever. My first video, toy hunting, blew I mean, blew me away. I was used to getting like 40 views on a gaming video, and I, got, I was getting like 70 on this toy hunting. And then people started commenting. People started showing me love in this community, and it, it just blew me away. I, it got me hooked. It got I co connecting with you guys is the best thing ever. <clears throat> but I started watching these people on YouTube, and. I decided I wanted to try this, you know, I went from not doing any videos for eight months to doing a toy hunt video. Still didn't want to show my face, and this is actually the first video that I showed my face in. Let's do it! <laughs> What's up everybody? Hope y'all enjoyed that video. I'm going to show you the haul that I got. I showed you in the case of the Captain America Play Arts. Uh, you saw what Joey got. He got the exclusive Joker from Walmart and the exclusive Joker from or exclusive Dr. Harleen, I'm sorry, from Walmart. Those are two awesome pops. Now, I'm going to show you the big purchase that I made. Didn't buy any pops, but this is a Player It's Kai, and they are sweet. Awful, right? I didn't know have anything to do with the camera. Like I, I just pointed and shot, and if it looked good, I uploaded it. 
Um, now I'm very part particular about what I upload. I, uh, I do a lot of editing. Um, I search for hours to find the perfect music. Um, I do intros now that I spend five hours doing a small intro. Um, that doesn't even look like it would take five hours. But I started filming stuff for other people. People wanted to see Marvel Legends. People wanted to see Transformers. People wanted to see Star Wars Black Series. And I, I did too. Um, I was intrigued by all these figures. You know, people were talking about articulation. I was collecting Funko Pops. I was like, where do you even, what? Articulation? I mean, I knew what it was, but Funko Pops, I don't have anything. I twist their head and that's about it. I still love Funko Pops. Funko Pops are great. Um, but whenever I get a Marvel Legend, I can see what kind of, you know, pose I can put it in. I love that. You can do anything. You can take pictures with it and make it look like it just came out of a comic book or came out of a movie. Um, so I started filming Marvel Legends. Told myself I would never get into these things. I would just film them. Well, guess what? Here I am with like 60 Marvel Legends um, and I have like 40 or 20 to 40, I'm not really sure, Black Series figure. I have Lego Grievous build. I have Play Arts Kai. Speaking of Play Arts Kai, that was one of my first loves. Um, my first premium format figures were Play Arts Kai. And if you ever have a chance, if you cannot afford Hot Toys and you can get a really good deal on a Play Arts Kai figure, go for it. So then I hit 100 subscribers. Um, I never thought that would happen and I kept on going with it. I've started to build this brand of Foxy for real. So then I started going with it. Um, I started doing more hunts. I started doing more hunts for specific things. I would film more Marvel Legends. I would film more Star Wars Black series. Um, started getting away from pops. And then I started buying pops that I just I just liked. You know, I just didn't care about the sticker. That's where I got into a problem. I fell into a hole where if it had a sticker and it was exclusive, I bought it. And that's the downfall of my collection after a while. And then I sold off. I just or branched out. I gave away. Um, and I, I, I just kept the ones I liked. And I started building my collection back up. I sold off a lot of pops. And then I started back from scratch. Um, and now I just collect the ones I like. I don't collect for value. I don't collect for the sticker. I collect the ones that appeal to me and the things I like. But at the end of the day, collect what you love. Not because it has a sticker or because it's rare. Just because you love the character or what it is. Now we're going like closer to present day. When the Sandman wave of Spider-Man Legends first came out, I was the first person on YouTube to find it. Um, that we know of anyway, because I, I, my video has almost 8,000 views I think right now. Of 7 to 8,000 views on the Homecoming wave. On the Sandman wave. And it was driving people crazy. Me and George, Plastic Addict, were talking at the time. And he was in a group chat. And he was like, hey bro, you need to show these to the guys. So... He, he talked with himself, he can add Foxy Frill into the, into the chat. They were cool with it. I'm really, you know, those guys um, really helped my YouTube out a lot, and I really appreciate that. You know, there's a few guys in the group chat. You know, Rube the Great, Plastic Addict, T-Man, uh, Mike the Hunter, Ryan, uh, D-Bag Robot Gang. And then, you know, more people started talking. I didn't know all these people were in this group chat. And then now it's this thing that we all know and love called the Syndicate. I showed these guys what I found and they were like, holy shit, we gotta check our Walmarts. Started checking their Walmarts, started finding figures, and I contribute that video as to my success. That video right here is the success story of Foxy For Real. If it wasn't for that video and George putting me in that group chat, I wouldn't be in the Syndicate core. I wouldn't be, I mean, I'd be in the, I'd be in the Syndicate page, but I wouldn't be part of the core. I thank everybody every day for supporting the Syndicate because the Syndicate is a platform for all of us to post our videos, to post our hauls, to post our discussions, um, you know, just come in at the end of the day, talk about figures and toys, and just have a great time. We all have stress at work, we all have stress at home, um, whether it's good stress, bad stress, whatever you want to call it, we all have that stress that we just want to release, and talking about figures with almost 3,000 of your fellow collectors is probably the greatest thing you can do when you get home. Uh, no bashing, no hate, just congratulations just congratulatory comments and love. That's what the Syndicate's all about. That's what the Syndicate core strives for. All those guys in the Syndicate, all their links are going to be in the description below. Please, please, please follow them. Um, if you are not part of the Syndicate, go make a Facebook page. You don't have to have any friends on Facebook. Just go make a Facebook page and go to the Syndicate. I guarantee you will make friends. This place is beautiful and every collector needs to join so that we can squash all the hate and this... 
Now, a lot of people like to talk about how Brooklyn looks angry in videos. Um, Brooklyn, my fiance, we met in high school or in middle school. And then we started talking and we started, you know, we, let's, let's hang out and stuff like that. So here we are now looking for a house, looking to get married in the ne next year, within the next year actually, and taking trips for YouTube um, to Ohio to meet up with Josh Pence since he nerd. And I just want to give her a huge shout out because it might look like she's not having a good time in my videos, but I can promise you this. <laughs> she, her fate, you know, <laughs> I can promise you this guys. It's when she's on camera when she's not happy. She does not like to be on camera. But it's when she's off camera, when she's showing me toys, when she's show trying to find a chase for me, when she's driving me while I'm filming to these places. She loves me without a doubt and I love her and I couldn't do this without her. But seriously, she's the one person that if even, even if I don't want to upload, she looks me in the eyes and tells me to upload. I have a lot of supporters. I have a lot of people that love me and I thank you all every day for you. Um... You guys are the best, and the thing is, I also have two best, uh, some best friends, you know, um, ready for work, and Archaic TV, I, you know, we've inspired each other to go out and hunt every day, kind of a competition between ourselves to go find a chase in the mall that we all work at, and those guys, man, I've known them forever, and I love them to death, and if you need some awesome content to watch, go follow them. I got Joey in the Pop Figures, I take credit for that, yes, Archaic TV, I got Jesus in the Pop, in the Pop Figures, I take credit for that as well, um, but their content is amazing and they're up and coming and they're only going to get better so please watch them now i'm taking trips to for youtube to meet up with other hunters like josh pence and cincy nerd you all know them for sure and guys this ride that i've been on for the past year and a half from gaming to you uh, to toy hunting to vlogging has been the best ride of my life I thank each and every one of you every day. I hope you all enjoyed this origin story of Foxy for real. Um, this might be a little bit of a long video and I know it's just us talking one on one. I hope you all enjoyed this. I enjoy talking to you guys. It's like 15 minutes before I gotta go to work and I still haven't packed the lunch. I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be a toy I'm going to be doing a toy hunt on Tuesday, so I'll have you all up a toy hunt soon. Thank you all for the love, thank you all for the support. I hope this uh filled the void of what you need to know about Foxy for real and if not join me on every Friday night to do uh, Foxy Friday I usually start around 6 do it for two hours till 8 or 8 30 follow me on Instagram at Foxy for real and then also in the links below uh, in the description below there's a few links that you can follow if you want sunglasses like mine that I use in the video or t awesome t-shirts uh, go to those links and put in my coupon codes and you all get money off just saying all right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, this is going to be a big one. Stay foxy!